disability. I wonder what you think of the word disability. At the age of 15, I was diagnosed with muscular dystrophy, qi ro wei shuo zhen in Mandarin. Muscular dystrophy is a degenerative muscle disorder caused by gene abnormalities. In those days, when internet was not existent, I had no knowledge about this rare disease and the impact upon my life. It was impressed upon me that I may not live beyond 25 years old. Obviously, I am not 25 now, and I am celebrating life. Living with a rare disease like muscular dystrophy that caused a severe form of physical disabilities was not an easy, easy task. More so in the 70s when there were lack of information and support. People with disabilities were hardly seen outside, as many were isolated inside their home. This debilitating condition changed my whole well-being. I was helpless over the inability to control my muscle functions from weakening. I felt insecure in venturing beyond home. I was marginalized and felt hurt by others because of my disability. Falling down or to the ground became my greatest fear because I couldn't pull up myself without any support. Falls traumatized me, not only physically, but also emotionally and psychologically. Once, I fell onto the ground at a deserted estate and cried out for help. But it was in, I was ignored by the two persons who chose to walk away. A menacing looking dog came close, igniting fears in me. I expected it to lunge on me. Instead, it gave me a sympathetic look and left me unharmed. This incident left me a deep impression on me. I wondered why a dog could show more sympathy to the helpless person than men. Unexpectedly, this experience taught me to become an active volunteer. It began my 24 years journey as an advocate for accessibility and champion for public awareness to promote inclusion. Subsequently, in 2000, I was mooted to co-found the Muscular Dystrophy Association of Singapore to provide care and support to this rare disease group. Over the past decades, globally, there have been greatest emphasis on challenging issues faced by people with disabilities. The visibility and voice by the disabled and for the disabled have positively contributed to a greater change. The enforcement from state policies of inter-ministries that were conveyed to the community level have bridged the gaps. This change has improved societies and raised quality of life for the weaker and vulnerable groups. It is evident that it takes a village to raise a child. Singapore was not an exception. Our nation adopted the Many Helping Hands approach. It involved the state to set up regulatory framework that strengthened the non-profit organisations to directly serve beneficiaries, collaborate with volunteers, donors and the large community for disabled inclusion. This approach contributed to the improvements in the areas of education, employment, medical and health care, housing, transportation and recreations. As importantly, greater public awareness has also played a significant change in building an inclusive society. As a result, corporations and individuals have become more receptive to accept the differently abled in the public domain. We also see more meaningful engagements that bridge gaps to meet essential needs. With the improved infrastructure, People with severe conditions like muscular dystrophy could gain access to the facilities and services. This enabled them to live as independent as they could. William was 
home alone in a lying position for 14 years, ever since he lost his abilities to walk. His life was changed when his dilemma was known by a friend. He found a new lease in life. After he was given a motorized wheelchair and introduced to a pre-vocational skills and recreational activities. Today, William is a graphic designer and an inspirational speaker. While much has been done for the disability sector, the challenges faced by the debilitating and life-limiting condition of muscular dystrophy remains a burden. The increasing demand of around-the-clock care has taken a toll on their caregiver. Their long-term care has resulted in caregiver stress and that impacts their risk in physical, medical and mental health. Aaron. Aaron relies on the respiratory devices since he was 10 years old. He is fully dependent on his father for all his personal care needs. As a sole breadwinner, the medically unfit father could only take a freelance job. Financially, the family has been severely affected. Despite hardships and medical complications, Aaron is determined to do well in his studies. Being rare and low in prevalence, it is crucial and critical to continue to raise public awareness on rare diseases to better educate society. We hope to see more collaborations to build resources that will benefit this community. When this is so, then truly no one will be left behind. Dear friends, do you know that sometimes what affects us is beyond the medical condition? Rather, it is the constant struggles the individuals and the families have to battle with that impact their lives. The loss of my mobility is both a burden and a blessing. It brought upon me an overwhelming sense of vulnerability and helplessness. Yet, the challenges that I had to overcome taught me resilience and empathy. I wonder what you think of disability now.